G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Included with me, Judy. In our last episode, we started getting off, um, well, foods that require raw resources due to the fact that, um, well, I've sort of consumed all the dirt on the asteroid and we're on our way to consuming all the slime on the asteroid in the quest for more food. Beating 105 hungry dupes is uh, difficult to say the least. Uh, uh, today's episode, one of the things we're gonna be doing to work towards, well, getting off reliance on raw resources for food is that we're gonna move into shovel ranching, shovel starvation ranching, which unfortunately means I need more raw resources, which is why we unlocked space in the last episode. We finally broke the uh, the veil of the surface, which means today's episode, um, our plan's gonna be a pretty simple one. We're just gonna dig out all of space which is the easy part. Actually getting it all shipped back inside the base is going to be the hard part. Also, whilst we have a couple of dupes out digging in space, we might remove another biome or two on the inside as well. But before we do any of that, we need to find out what 4D printer has to offer. So 4D printer has absolutely nothing, which is uh, much to be surprised. Much to be expected. Uh, first thing we need to do is, well, we need to move our shovels. Uh, last episode, we went and turned off our little storage where we got a couple of eggs through the teleporter. Our plan is to, well, uh, move them over to here. Uh, so we're going to enable this for shovels, vol pups and shovels, and we're just gonna move them all in here. Now, I'm not gonna turn this on yet. I don't wanna turn this on. I don't wanna start padding them until, oh, 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 let's turn you off too. Uh, yeah, all off, cool, copy, yeah. I don't want to turn these guys on until, well, we are ready for the shovels well and truly. Um, it, they consume like five tons of regolith each per cycle. And, well, I've got about six to start with, I think. Uh, they're being carted out. Uh, there's one critter left. Don't drop one. They're such a pain to find again and bring back because they dig through tiles. You'll find them in the middle of a steam room. Okay, that's one. So Black, you bring another one. That's two. Two to us, three. Okay. Three. Sky Hunter, four. I think there were five. Oh, crap. All right, we might have to play uh, Hunt the Shovel later. Uh, but yes, we have a couple get us get started. Uh, the good news is they won't they won't starve, they won't do anything because they're still wild. We don't have to worry about that after they're tamed. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be digging through space. Uh, yeah, digging through space is the easy part. Getting the resources back is the hard part. Uh, so we need to do a couple of things. One, I need to do a whole lot of ladder placing. Uh, so we're gonna have already seven, seven uh, ladders. Yep, a lot of ladders uh, and a lot more ladders. Okay, yep, much better. All right, uh, dig two tiles above and two tiles above and we should be able to dig that out. Now, I haven't found any shovels up in the space biome but I have found meat. So what I believe has happened is the shovels have um, expired in space. Uh, but they left the meat around where we can pick up and I'm willing to bet we're gonna find, hopefully, an egg or two. Uh, sweet, pretty nice. Uh, either way, I'm not gonna say no to the meat because our calories are not looking great. All right, uh, as for our grand plan, our grand plan is to use a sweeper chain. Ooh, yeah, I don't have a better name for it. A sweeper chain to uh, bring everything back onto the inside of the asteroid. Uh, we have this single hole here where I can just drop everything through and um, that's gonna be our plan. We're just gonna drop everything from there to, well, here. Yeah. Uh, all right, so to do this, what I need to do is I need to have an auto sweeper that can touch a automatic dispenser and can also pick up from the automatic dispenser in front of it. So I need another dispenser out of copper, please, right here. And you can reach this tile, so you're gonna need a tile to dump stuff onto and a tile to sit on. And then you're gonna need a power cable. And hopefully priority seven for construction. Yes, okay. Uh, and then I need to have a follow, whoop. 
a follow-on auto sweeper, you know, to do the next pickup, to do the next drop off. So we're just gonna remove some materials so we can sort of gauge where the next one's gonna go. Like, it's not a hard complex yeah, concept. From the center of the auto sweeper, four tiles to the left is the, you know, the actual automatic dispenser. And then to the right, yeah, four tiles is the chute for the previous automatic dispenser. And uh, which means in theory, you would go there and probably diagonal. One, two, three, four in that piece of abyssal light. Rotate you that way. I'm reasonably confident in that placement. You'd remove that tile. Yep, it can reach there. Cool. That's your placement. Uh, and all we need to do to set these up is I just need to say uh, sweep all except liquefiable. Uh, priority one. And you're just going to pick up everything and put it into that box, which is then going to dump it out here. Here. Yep. Uh, 2.8 tons. 3.8 tons, so on and so forth. And then we just take your settings and we copy it to the next one where he will start picking up, well, everything and putting it in here, which will then promptly drop it through the hole in the poop chip tube. Who's idle? Why? Oh. That would be why. Oh, that tile's gonna go. Okay, uh, can I get the jeeps to dig out? That, just flat across the top. Uh, one, two, three, four. So you go there and we continue our lead wire along. And yeah, that's gonna be our plan. We're just gonna keep dropping all the material down to well, this tile right here. Uh, regolith, I'm storing up a whole bunch of regolith for right now. I need to store an awful lot of regolith, an awful, awful lot of regolith um, before I turn on these guys. Like I said, they're gonna consume uh, regolith. 4,800 kilograms per cycle. I've only got four of them, but um, at five tons each, that's 20 tons. Um, that, that's 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 one of these boxes every cycle. Um, yeah, they consume an awful lot of material. They do puke up half of it, so you know they have that going for them. But it's going to be a lot of material. Uh, meanwhile, I just need to get this chain in. Uh, the sooner we get this chain in, the better. We also need to occasionally look for. That's what I thought would happen. We're going to have some eggs. Sweep, sweep. Uh, which means I'm going to put you for egg. Create an egg. Uh, shovel egg. Priority nine. Uh, are you set to sweep only? You are now. Okay, uh, which means hopefully I can get the dupes up here to well, bring the meat. Meat, yep, sweet. Bring the meat back, uh, which should give us more barbecue. Each one of these, well, this is uh, 16,000 uh, kilocalories, which after we've turned the barbecue turns into 20,000 kilocalories. So it adds up real fast. Um, really, really fast. Our food's not doing great, but you know, I've got 143,000 kilocalories of meat somewhere, probably mostly in space. Yeah, I hope I don't miss any tiles and it goes rotten because that'd be disappointing. But yeah, um, the dupes have to just do a little bit of digging. We might do some internal digging as well, but we'll start with the external stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm going to let the dupes get to it and I'll see you guys in a sec. Space mining is going well. Not really. It's slow. It's very, very slow. There's an awful lot of construction that has to be done. Also, an awful lot of, well, digging that has to be done. And although I've got very good diggers and very good builders, it's a hell of a travel distance to get to and from work. Uh, but as we can see, we have our sweep sweeper chains running. Um, and I've been turning them on basically as soon as I can because we've started consuming a decent amount of power. Um, you might also notice this is an old-fashioned heavy wire. I actually put in a... Large power transformer right here, so I can use copper ore, because we're finding copper ore in space, so we might as well use a local resource to do all the sweeping. Uh, but yes, they are doing an amazing job of, well, um, sweeping everything from sweeper to sweeper to, to carrier to drop off to, 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 yes, yes. Which also means um, we have a decent amount of regolith um, ready to go, uh, and, and a decent number of eggs, actually. Uh, can I... 
Yeah, we found a decent number of eggs. Also a decent number of meat, a amount of meat. That, um, well, I've turned a portion of it into barbecue. Not all of it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The chefs are busy. Uh, so, what I need to do is, um, I need to start taming these guys. So, we're going to turn you on for, uh, Volpop. Uh, Regolith, please. Copy settings. Uh, Scalding. Ah, we'll mention the Scalding. Yeah, so the jibs are getting scalded. Here. And I don't know why. Okay, uh, I've got no idea why nothing in here is scalding temps. Really? Like, there are some things that could maybe scold them, but not really. Um, and what's worse is it, it's actually the dupes that have permission to walk in that are putting the suits on, like Happy Fox. Happy Fox is about to come out. He's going to take off his suit. And then somewhere between here and here, he's going to get scalded. Happy Fox, Happy Fox, Happy Fox, Happy Fox. Managed to prove me wrong just the one time. Up, up, up. Blastfield, Blastfield, we just saw him come through here. He got scalded. Like, the Atmos suit dock is 59 degrees, which is a little bit warm. But if I hover over this, he's previously hit a temperature of 74 degrees. Nothing around here is 74 degrees. Um, nothing. Nothing. Uh, inside a pipe has oxygen at 71 degrees, but there's oxygen inside the pipe. The outside of the pipe is only 48 degrees. I don't know what's scalding them at all. Uh, but that, that, that oxygen's 100 degrees. Uh, 88 degrees, rather. 88 degrees. There's, there's nothing to, yeah, I've just given up. He's carrying salts, which is 57 degrees? Maybe it's them carrying salt. Frogger, are you gonna get scalded? No, and Frogger walked through without getting scalded. Like, there's a heat symbol right there, but... I can... Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, whatever. We're going to ignore that for the moment. Uh, I need to turn you on. I need to turn you on. Okay, uh, other thing I need to do is... I need to set you to... So I need to turn you off eggs. Uh, which means future eggs. No idea what we're going to do with. And I need to set you to filtration medium, uh, regolith priority one. Uh, and we'll set all of these to empty. Empty. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 tons already. Uh, and we have two tons here. And, oh, I can literally see an egg there. Uh... 15 tons, 24 tons, 24 tons, 24 tons. No idea what the next one is. We should have enough in here that we can start taking care of these guys. There. You were just padded, right? Nope. You were just padded, right? Nope. Who do we pat? Have we not pat any of them yet? Please pat one. There we go. Pat one. Pat one, please. Uh, that guy. Come on, wilderness, wilderness, wilderness. Uh, goes down by 55% per cycle. So they're going to be tame in just two cycles. Uh, being whilst we're just going to, well, put a lot of regolith in the room whilst we let the diggers dig. Yes. Uh, other thing I want to mention that should hopefully take care of our food problems or contribute to taking care of our food problems is... Although our starvation ranch has nothing in it currently, we'll get some eventually. We're gonna actually ship extra eggs out of here. I already have 12 quitters, which probably means I need to do something about the automation. Ah, oh, look. One of you already vomited. Yeah, that's why we have the auto miner. They vomit whole tiles. Uh, but we also have, <laughs> have um, our Dreco starvation shearing ranch is up to 70 quitters as well. Uh, so that's definitely contributing to our, our our food stockpiles. Anyway, I need to get on with more digging because, well, we haven't finished space yet. We're about the halfway point. Roughly about the halfway point. Well, turns out um we have meteorite showers. Mm, the good news is, well, that just took a direct hit and it's entombed. That's really all that happens. Um, meteorite showers are not nearly as devastating as they used to be. They're more of a frustration. Can I catch another one coming in? No. 
Up, up, up. So, uh, phosphoric meteorite. Thud. That's it. Uh, dropped 10 kilos of phosphorite. Half a kilo worth of phosphorite. That's it. That's, 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 that's as devastating as they get now. No more breaking things. No more damaging things. Uh, that one's a slime meteorite. Uh, can I see? Oh, with 300, 300 grams worth of, um, stuff. Yep. Uh, 300 kilograms rather. So, yep, uh, two tiles worth. We just set the dupes to go dig them back up. Uh, I don't even know... Rotten picture pop pop, pop, that's fine. Yeah, I don't even know if it'd be an issue if a dupe took a direct hit to the face. Uh, yeah, scolding, we know. More scolding, we know. Um, I, I was in here to check in because, I, well, we had the, 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 yes. The small problem are of... Yeah, these are set to priority zero. They got filled back up again. Uh, and now we're emptying them again. Uh, speaking of regolith, we <laughs> have... Uh, a few tons, a few tons ready to go to feed a, a, a few critters. Uh, the critters themselves, room overlay. Uh, we have uh, five critters, so population hasn't increased too much. But um, I wouldn't put a dropper over here for eggs. And um, you're set to sweep only because we're still finding eggs out in space. And you have uh, 15 critters already. One of them's alive, just one. He, he's wild, so we're going to wait for him to level up and hit age five first, and then we'll go in there and pat him. But um, we have a decent number of eggs ready to go, and all the eggs so, we've found so far. There was one, yeah, wilderness 51%. Um, so the rest of them are all wild. Uh, but yes, we've set up a tiny bit of, well, we've set up this conveyor to kick out critter eggs. And we've set up a tiny bit of automation. Tiny bit of automation. We're doing a head count. If we have less than 14, well, if we have more than 14, more than 14. Mm, less than 14. If we have more than 14, we allow the eggs to pass. Set green signal if below 14. Better. Cool. Uh, so, automation, that's going to turn that on, which means conveyors. Uh, we can put the eggs in here, in here, in this one top here is where the auto sweeper can't reach so we don't end up with an infinite loop. And then after we get over 14 eggs, well, we'll just send them over here and drop them into the Starvation Ranch. And even though these have gone in wild, they'll actually have enough time to get padded and lay an egg, providing I have enough ranches with the amount of jibs I have, I'm pretty sure I have enough ranches. And we should get an egg out of them before they expire. Uh, meanwhile, I've decided, look, you know what? We're just going to dig right across the top. We're going to dig off the first layer because this is where I was finding most of the eggs and the meat. Um, and it just helps if I can get everything shipped out quickly. Oh, and I've also turned off the sweeper chain because, yeah, meteorites, I thought we were going to have a problem. We don't. Uh, we'll talk about that later. All right. Uh, but yeah, that was my small update. I'll see you in a sec. So progress in space is slow. It's very, very slow. It's slow for a number of reasons. One, the, the dupes have to walk across ladders, which is not terribly fast. Two, the terrain, when they actually walk to the surface, the terrain is not exactly flat and level. So there's lots of jumping up and down and jumping left and right. And there's more meat right there. Uh, also, well, currently I've turned off the sweeper chain because we can see there's an egg here and a... There's an egg somewhere along the list, unless the dupes come picked it up. There's there's the piece of meat I just found. There's another egg here. There's a, a, another. You're stuck, aren't you? Yeah. Uh. There's another piece of meat right there. There's a. Is that something? No. Uh. There's an egg over here. We're, we're finding lots of doodads, and of course that means the dupe needs to come up here, pick up one item, and then walk off with it. Not like they can bring construction materials with them and, 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 and put them down before picking up the one egg or the one piece of meat. And, yeah, okay, it's fine. Progress is slow. Progress is very, very slow. Uh, to account for that and stupidity, because you can literally dig out the stone you're standing on. You, 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 you useless, useless dupes. Uh, to account for that, well, I decided to start looking at some of the internal biomes. Um, 
This little area here is uh, now thankfully gone. Um, this little area behind our mushroom farm is, well, mostly gone. You know, mostly. Uh... Yep, there's no plants in there. That can go. Uh, we are just working our way down the map. I'm not touching the teleporter. We're not going to another planet just yet. I want to finish what I have here. But um, we're just working our way down down the side of the map whilst we wait for the space tubes to get their space things done we've also cleared out all this and i've put in a sweep order or two um yeah the, the storage just need to be filled i'm hoping to find more performance with more sweeping with more things in boxes and less stuff on the ground we'll see how it goes it's about two cycles later and um as we can see well everything beside coal is now gone and everything around the teleporter it's just, it's it's all on the floor somewhere. Somebody needs to pick up after themselves. Uh, storage is still fine. We're still filling that up slowly. Uh, the room overlay. Uh, the, the Draco Ranch is up to 76 critters. That's an awful lot. Our Starvation Ranch now has five. Okay, including this little shove vault here. He, he's still wild. Somebody needs to come over and say hi to him. They already have. It, it's slowly getting there. Another two cycles, two cycles. He'll be tame and then... He can start breeding. He's become breeding stock now. Uh, as for our main ranch, it's got six in it. Hasn't really increased that much, but it's getting there. It's getting there. And our space dupes have dug from, well, here to here in two cycles. Yeah. They have cleared out the top row. They have got a ladder all the way to the end. Uh, we've sort of stopped finding eggs and meat, which is slightly speeding up the process, but... um. They're very, 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 very slow. The very slow dupes are making very slow progress. Like, it, it, it's a cycle later. Like, a cycle doesn't sound like a lot, but considering the labor force we have, a cycle is an awful lot of time. Uh, but we've run into a new problem, and that is um, we're using an awful lot of power. Now, this is on a, well, a minor power, so we can use up to 20 kilowatts, okay? Which is fine, uh, except two things. Uh, well, I'm running it through a large power transformer, which can do up to four kilowatts worth of power. We're using 2.28. Uh, I think we'll probably make it to the end of the map before we use too much. Otherwise, we can always turn it on two halves, like ship everything halfway and then ship everything the other half of the way. But um, our problem is not actually up here. It's, it's, whoop, 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 down here. Um, we upgraded all the power wires, like all of them. Every single power wire is now on heavy watt conductive wire, which does move uh, fifth. Whoop, 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 whoop. You don't tell me. Oh, it says maximum safety wattage of 20. Okay. Uh, it has a max power of 50 kilowatts. <sighs> the catch is we still have some old wires on the network. Um, that's a heavy watt joint plate. That's the old style. Uh, the, we did have some of those. Where are they? up here going through our, our our ranches well they got removed we also happen to have some in here these are conductive joint plates i did the right thing when installing these and i made sure like they're made out of copper we've been poor on copper for just about forever uh the, the heavy watt conductive wire in here is lead that's fine but on the inside it's heavy watt wire it's the old-fashioned stuff which means um, it's starting to fail which means i've locked the dupes out because I don't want them coming here and fixing it. Uh, it's either going to work and survive, or it's going to die. Um, it's only an issue when we go over 20 kilowatts, which, providing the auto sweepers are not running, we don't go over 20 kilowatts. With the auto sweepers running, we're sort of over 20 kilowatts all the time. I could have the dupes come in here and fix things, but honestly, it, it's running a, a polymer press, which is neither here nor there and it's running two cooling loops. Um, this cooling loop does the mushrooms, which doesn't really produce any heat. And this cooling loop is running, well, these turbines, which do produce a little bit of heat, but that's mainly from cooling the aqua tuna that's cooling the turbines. It's a self-perpetuating system. Apart from that, like if that fails, these are gonna get a little bit hot, but that's okay as long as it says like sub 275, 325 degrees, something, something in here, um, because these are made out of steel. 325 degrees, so we're sort of fine, and you're really not running. As long as you stay hooked up to the grid, I'm good. Well, as long as our mushrooms don't overheat, I'm good.
Uh, speaking of mushrooms, I did put in a conveyor loader uh, for mushrooms right here so the dupes could drop them here and then they'll get shipped onto our conveyor line, which then takes them into our uh, Morpheus chamber, uh, which then drops the mushroom on the ground, which then gets picked up by this auto sweeper and put into this box, which then takes them over the kitchen, uh, which... 81 critters now. 18 critters. Uh, 10 critters. And how's Mama Bear doing? Mama Bear is still a little bit wild. It, it, it hasn't been all that much time, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, Jupes. You are so close. I have faith that you can finish this off in a reasonable time frame. Okay, so reasonable time frame came and went, but uh, we're down to the last, what, three sweepers? Three sweepers. Three sweepers, two buckets. We're done. We've planned it all out. The dupes can finish it all off. We can turn everything on or when they're done because I'm trying not to stress out the power network too much. Uh, speaking of other things on the map, uh, all those internal biomes, yeah, they're gone. Um, which means we've gone into a, uh, please sweep up the map for daddy. I'd like more performance because the game is running at, um, you don't want to know what the frame rate is. Uh, it's okay. I can speed things up in post and then it looks smoother for you guys, but um, it's not smooth playing it. I, I just put that there. We have come in here and ignore this problem entirely. It's still running, so I don't need to fix it yet. Uh, this wire has broken, which means that one's not running, which means the steam turbines are not getting cooled. But they're not cooling anything because this one doesn't have to output anything because the water's going out and coming back at the same temperature. Because carbon dioxide doesn't make a lot of heat. We also have an awful lot of mushrooms. And in fact, we're back up over a billion calories. Half of it is mushrooms. And I'd really like it if dupes could put them in the box, please. I'm going to up the priority on this. Let's go for a nine. Maybe that convinces you guys to actually put the mushrooms in the box. Yes, uh, we do have um, a few problems. There's not a lot of empty storages. In fact, um, possibly none. Which was made worse by uh, somebody went and put in another lot of bristle blossoms because, well, I had enough room. In fact, uh, I, I put a whole lot of uh, grub fruits down here and then extended out our bristle blossoms and put in more bristle... It's fine. We, we wanted to make sure we'd be okay on food until, well, our shovels came online. The catch is, well, 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 room overlay. Uh, shovels, we've got five critters still? Really? Okay. Yeah, our, our breeding is not going too well. It's fine. We can have just crit five critters. That's perfectly fine. Our, 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 our Drekos are still hovering around about 80. Our Starvation Ranch is up to 20 because I found more, more eggs. And uh, in fact, Mummy, Mummy Cheval is, um, ha has become an adult, uh, has been padded, is gonna have lay an egg in about a cycle and a half. Um, and then, well, they have enough food to get till there. They don't have enough food for another baby, but one is all we need. Uh, also, yeah, I need to maybe do something about storage which means either put in another row of boxes, which I'm really not inclined to do because technically this is still calling our mushrooms. Technically. Also, we're sort of using the clean water off this to feed our bristle blossoms. Or maybe I can come up with another great idea. Uh, and you guys are so close to the end, as long as no gravity doesn't bury himself. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, this is a weird one because you're up here so you can reach that one. You need to go there and then I need to put another auto sweeper here. Here. Yeah, all the fiddly little things like trying to get in the last auto sweeper to clear up everything. And no, you will reach everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're almost done. So close. So close to just turn on all the auto sweepers and let them go. Well, it's finally happened. We've activated the chain. Everything has been dug out. I may have had to rearrange a few things due to poor mismanagement and incorrect tile placement, but that's fine because everything's being shipped out. Uh, we're using 3.36 kilowatts on just auto sweepers and automatic dispensers, which are just shipping everything. In fact, come on, I need you to drop. And then you can pick up. Like, like, it's only half the map's running. The other half hasn't actually kicked in. Oh, no. We're just having a shipping issue. A 
a shipping issue trying to get everything moved across. Um, it just needs time to all buffer up. Uh, but yes, there is a lot of material there. Is that, 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 that's another egg. Sweep, sweep the egg. Cool. Um, so yes, we are now shipping out lots of things. Uh, room overlays. We have, uh, 22 critters now. Hasn't really changed. 14 now. Has really changed. Lots of bursts were happened. Uh, still around about 80. Food is going up nicely. Uh, mummy shovel. Mummy shovel laid an egg. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, um, she, she, her reproduction goes up by 17% per cycle. So, you know, another five cycles, she'll lay another egg. Unfortunately, she has food for two cycles. At which point, she goes into starvation mode. And funnily enough, when they go into starvation mode, they don't seem to be keen on laying more eggs. Yeah, uh, but her egg is here. It, it comes out wilderness, zero incubation, 1%. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Uh, when she expires through alternative means, she'll drop uh, 16,000 kilocalories worth of meat, which, as I've said before, we turn... Every 3,200 gets turned to 4,000, so it ends up being... um She's about 20,000 kilocalories worth of steak. Sorry, barbecue. Barbecue, not steak. Not, not shovel steak. Shovel barbecue. Uh, we already have our auto super that can reach the whole floor. Can also re reach a conveyor loader, which is going to ship the meat into the kitchen, where the kitchen will do kitchen things to it. Yes. Uh, also storage. Um, well, actually, biomes. I may have found another little biome that we could sort of remove that was here. Uh, I may have also just skirted around the edge, just picked up all the little bits that were hanging out. Um, here, there, and everywhere. There's still a whole slime biome here. I haven't decided whether I want to dig out. Well, I have decided I want to dig it out, but I just haven't got to yet. Along with another caustic biome here, which we've started laying, laying. I want to say train tracks, ladders into. All right, we know about the scolding. Okay. We also have idle dupes, which I'm trying to talk about. Um, so yes, there's, there's a slime biome here. There's another slime biome here, another caustic biome here, another salt biome here. These will probably go by the same token. I need to, well, either just not dig through the abyss light or, or block this off so I don't have um, people that are meant to be in the oil biome in suits not being in the other biomes. Uh, oil biome, we did give it a general sweep too. Um, most of the material's actually been pulled out of it. We, we had a problem with fossil, as in I used all of it. We've dug up a couple of salt biomes since. We found some more fossil also, I think. No, that is the salt biome. Yeah, we found a little bit more salt, uh, salt, uh, fossil. But, um, my problem is storage. Um, this is why I have idle dupes. Because it'd be full. Uh, so I'm thinking of a new plan. After seeing our wonderful auto-sweeping method, uh, I'm thinking, uh, deconstruct. Uh, can I go priority eight on buildings? Can I remove that and that? And I'm thinking auto sweeper there, uh, box and then tile. So that we go tile, 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 and then three tiles down, another row, and then yeah. And we'll extend that over there. I'm thinking auto sweeper, auto sweeper. Oh, you are my fatigue on. Okay. Uh, Auto super. You can reach. Um. Maybe you need to go one hole higher. Yeah. And then a bucket. Which means you won't technically need an auto sweeper. And then right here, we put in a touch of automation. Also, I'm going to want to, uh, uh, sculpting blocks. Yeah, a couple of those. You know, make the place pretty. It helps if you put the pretty stuff on the floor. Uh, automation, weight plate. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be our answer. I, 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 of course, need to get power and all sorts of things. I want the auto sweepers there so we can 
automatically bring things out of centralized um, mass storage. Yeah, let me experiment for a little bit and look at our options. Uh, very importantly, I can put you there and you can reach that. Yes. Because there's an awful lot of material right here I might want to ship it on. Um, one thing I do want to mention is uh, re Regolith? Regolith. Uh, each one of those is 25 tons. Um, um, yeah, we're good on Regolith for a little while. Uh, at least for our Starvation Ranches. G give me a minute and let's see what I can come up with. Unlimited storage is now a thing. Uh, it, it, it took a little bit of fine-tuning, but we got there in the end. Um, you're gonna be absolutely useless. You can actually go away. Uh, but I have, um, two dispensers that can dump, well, everything, uh, in here. In fact, we're probably gonna end up upping it to four... Well, actually, I'll take that back. I have four currently. We're possibly gonna up that to six. Um... Because there's just a certain number of dupes that can access these at once. And obviously, more is better. Eight? Oh, am I getting carried away with eight? I guess not. I guess not. There's, there's a lot of material that needs to be, you know, put away. Um, uh, I need a hole there because we're still... We're still dropping things from space. Uh, yeah, I have been turning these off, uh, one by one as they complete. Uh, all the ice is being left in space because I don't want the ice. And occasionally have a dupe who's terribly smart, terribly smart, and pops out here just, just, just to go and fill up one of these buckets that, you know, uh, it has a sweep on. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, unlimited storage is uh, definitely a thing. Uh... We have some decor, just to make sure we have some decent decor, you know, up around the, 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 the automatic dispensers, because they're not very nice to look at, let's be honest. Uh, and, um, well, having a lot of debris on the ground is also not very nice. But, you know, as long as the dupe heads don't come too close, the decor is... Well, it'd be better if you guys weren't in the way, because you guys lower the decor yourselves. Uh, but, yeah, we have... um. 850 tons and counting. Um, yeah. And now, when I want things to go away, I just set them up to sweep. And, well, they were told to sweep the, the one tile of stuff from space, and they're doing a good job of sweeping the one tile of stuff from space. Uh, also, anything here? Yeah, the auto supers can't really get a side in edgeways because there's just so many cheap interaction. But um, yes, uh, we're, we're slowly cleaning out, well, everything. In fact, I emptied all these storages and decommissioned them. Oh, we can actually also remove those doors and those doors. That can go away as well. Uh, we, we should be able to sweep out, well, everything. Um, this has mostly been cleaned up. This is mostly being cleaned up because now we have infinite storage. Sure, it's going to be a big pile of crap on the ground, but um, as long as we can click on a weight plate and see exactly how much crap we have, I'll call that a win. Uh, as for our goals, so our goals for today was to dig out space. Succeeded. Uh, our second goal was... Oh my god, you're still sweeping? Oh yeah, because there is how much regular thing? Oh my gosh. Uh, 20... 50, easy 100 tons, easy 100 tons, right there. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're sweeping things and, and, and still dropping and, you know, eventually we'll be fine. Uh, down here, well, it's all sorts of crap now. Uh, we have, I don't know how much regolith on the floor, an awful lot. Uh, enough to keep our Dracos fed for an awful long time. We are up to 14 critters in here, so we're maxed out. A lot of them are eggs still, unfortunately. Uh, the eggs... Incubation. They, they, they take about... What's that? 20 cycles? 20 cycles to hatch. So, it's going to take us a little while to get our our, our our breeding ranch up and running. Meanwhile, the starvation ranch is doing wonderfully, I might say. Uh, 25 critters and counting. Yep. And 
Whoop. If I click on one of these and go to errands, uh, no critters available because they're all tame. They're all happy. They've all been patted recently. They're glorious. Ow. Draco Ranch seems to be like 75, 80, 85. I don't know how many it's actually going to have in it, but the answer so far is an awful lot. Uh, as for our wounded heroes, our wounded heroes that keep coming back and forth. Oh. I extend out the cooling pipe. Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 currently got a little bit of a water shortage, but we have gone and added. Well, hang on, let's 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 talk about this because one thing I skipped over for most of the episode. Uh, I had to go in and add insulated tiles to a lot of different places to actually cut down on the amount of cooling we were doing because it was getting chilly. Uh, I have also even put in. Uh, lead pipe in a couple of places to increase the cooling and I actually leaded this whole area uh, It was the stage of cold uh, Like you know 20 10 15 and I still had scalding problems. I actually think It's the duplicates bringing out the table salt of all things. I think they're picking up uh, Where are we? Table salt the table salt is incredibly hot. And because they're bringing out like, glass up, glass up. come on, do it on command. Uh, 88 health, you are bringing out table salt that's at like 240 degrees, but it's four micrograms. It is the tiniest amount, okay? Well, 4,000 micrograms, which is actually four grams. Four grams of salt. It's not a lot. But it's very, very hot. And then it's, when he hits the water, it drops down to 33. But then as he comes out... Okay, glass eye. 88 hit points. Scalding. Like here. And... Temperatures. Like... That's, that's, that's oxygen at 91 degrees. The thing is, it's an insulated pipe that brings it down to 30. Um... The actual outside of the pipe's only 30 degrees. I don't know what's causing them to scold themselves. Okay, the little heat symbol we had here is gone. I honestly don't know. Um, I even upgraded some of these pipes to ceramic. Uh, everything is in an insulated pipe. I, I, I honestly don't know. They do have salt going overhead at 100 degrees, but he scalded himself at 78.6. So I don't know. It does seem to be attached to those that are bringing out table salt. Um, did you... Colbert's also scolded himself. Here. Like that's oxygen that's not very hot. Uh, that is oxygen very, very hot, but it's in a cold pipe. So I don't know what the story is with the scolding. So far, I'm happy for the... Um, you lay in a bed every now and then you feel better. Method. That, 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 that's what we're going with for right now. But um, we've got a giant sweep task that needs to be done. Uh, many, many, many things need to be picked up. I have also turned on a lot of things that we're storing elsewhere, like salt. Salt, we have dedicated storage for salt. Who cares? We're just going to put it in the pile. Uh, sand, same story. Uh, reed fiber, balm lily seeds, glass, plastic, the whole works. Uh, not table salt, because obviously there's none of it. Uh, speaking of salt, salt, I've Turns out smashed up most of the salt on the map. Turned most of it into glass, actually. We have a... Nope, not that one. I have a 34 tons worth of glass, which means our next episode solar panels are definitely a thing. We're also out of lime because I'm out of fossil again. We do have the mine we can turn on for more fossil. And there's still, well, technically... You're sitting on fossil. There's some fossil above you. There's a tiny bit left. Uh, but yeah, I've basically stripped mine. Most of the asteroid. Not all of it, but most of it. Uh, but I think next episode, solar panels. Solar panels, uh, mass storage. Hopefully I find more performance. Uh, yep. Yep, that's a lot of material already. Uh, solar panels, more performance, and... I don't know. I honestly don't know what, what else. Uh, oh, rockets. Rockets. We should probably get into rockets. Hopefully now that we have shovel ranching and food should be sorted with unlimited barbecue. 
Hopefully that's the plan. But I need to leave this episode here because you do not want to know how long it took to record this. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. All right, bye.